Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to work on sort of the first lesson. Um, <clears throat> I mentioned in my previous video, so I'm not sure if you're coming from that one or not. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through um, some of the very basic, basic things. So it's like you just got a ukulele and you know, how do I hold it? How do I play chords, etc. Um, so let's start off with my number one tip that I had in my last video, which is make sure that your fingernails are clipped. Key, key, key important thing to do. Okay, and the way to tell <clears throat> if your fingernails need to be clipped or not is make like an okay sign, okay? And if you push down on your thumb like that and you can feel fingernail first digging into your thumb, then you need to clip your fingernails, okay? And you can do that with each one of your fingers. Don't skip this step, just Trust me on this, you need to make sure that you clip your fingernails. Just on this on this hand. This hand you can leave, you can leave them long and it may actually be an advantage a little bit later if you like. Um, but this will really, really help you. Okay? Okay, so <clears throat> the next thing you're gonna want to do is tune your ukulele. Uh, so that when you're listening to me and we're playing together in a couple of minutes, it's gonna sound right. Okay, the last thing you want to do is have your ukulele out of tune and then you're going, oh, and you're playing everything correctly, but um, it doesn't sound right. And it's not a mistake that you're making, it's just that your ukulele isn't tuned. So it, 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 it's just going to sound really off, especially compared to another instrument that is in tune. So you can do that with your ukulele tuner, like this. A uh, little clip-on uke tuner. A lot of ukuleles come with them now, which is which is great. If you don't have a ukulele tuner yet, there are apps that are available, um, and uh, I'm sure you can find one for free. I think Fender has one. Probably Kala ukuleles, K-A-L-A. They might have one. I'm just saying this off the top of my head, um, but you should be able to find one. Um, I'm going to strum the strings just quickly, just so that you can do it by ear if you don't have access to either of those. Um, and this is what it should sound like. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top here and work my way down. That's your G string, high G. Next one. That's a C string. Next one, E. one, A. Okay, and then just obviously stop the video, listen to it, make minor adjustments. <clears throat> okay, so let's start off with the first chord that you're going to learn, and this is called the C chord. So what you're going to want to do is use your third finger, and you're going to put your third finger here on the bottom string, the first string, in between one, two, three, in between the second and third fret, these are your frets, okay? This is called the third fret. You're snuggling right up to the third fret. And you push down on it, okay, on, on the string. And then just give it a strum, just kind of brush it with your thumb like that. It doesn't have to be fancy, just, it should sound like that. Lift it off and you'll hear the difference. and then put your finger back on there. Now what I want you to notice is, I'm just gonna take this off, <clears throat> that your finger needs to be kind of arched up. It's hard to show on this one, but I'll, I'll show you on a different chord just so you can see it better. See how my finger is arched, this finger? That's what you want, and you want that with your third finger at the third fret. So don't lay it down. You don't want it like this, you want it over top like that okay and this is real important okay so you, you want it to be here you can see probably the lines on my fingers but you want it right on the end of your finger not more on the pad of your finger like not here more on the end right there okay you need your fingers kind of like that almost like I did that okay thing before okay like that <clears throat> And I'll show you why in a minute. So just try that. Put your finger on the 
C right there, that's your C chord, and just strum down. Good. Now take your first finger, and let's try putting it on at the first fret on the first string. Same thing. <clears throat> that's a C7 chord. Good. Now go back up to the third fret with your C chord. And let's just do um, some strumming. Down, just down, down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Now, if you're not getting a nice clear sound, you're getting something more like that with buzz or it sounds kind of dead, <clears throat> here's a couple things that you can look for. First is, is my finger in between the two frets or is it maybe on top of the fret? If it's on top of the fret, it's going to give you a kind of a dead or sort of a sound, okay? Move it down a little bit, get it in between. Good. Nice and clear, right? If you're getting still that, push harder, okay? There you go. Give it a little extra. Mm. Squeeze it. Get your thumb in behind the neck, not over top of the neck. And that will help you as well, because then you can kind of squeeze like this, okay? Good. Try your first finger on the C7 now. So down here, at the first fret, same thing. Making sure that your hand is arched. See how it's arched? Not flat like that, arched up like that. <clears throat> Good, all right. Now, take your middle finger, I'm gonna show you a little thing here, and put it on the second fret. Kind of a nice sound. Do the same thing. Get that nice clear sound. If, again, if you're getting the dead sound, push a little harder. You'll get a feel for how hard you have to push. And here's a little way that you can do it. Push down so that you're getting the nice clear sound. Now just start to lighten up on the amount of pressure that you've got. Ah, there it is, and it goes dead. Now start to push down again. Then you'll get a feel. Oh, okay, that's how hard I have to push. Okay, and it's just a feel thing. It's not something you can sort of instruct somebody on, okay? Now loosen it again. There you go, it's dead. Push it down slowly. There you go, that nice sound. Okay, so now we've got the third fret the second fret, and the first fret. Listen to this. That's the first part of the, the, the song something, right? To our C chord. Now we're going to learn <clears throat> another chord, and this one's called G7. And with these two chords, you can play a, a couple of songs. Okay, and we're going to we'll, we'll work on one or two here. So the G7 starts with your first finger right there at the first fret on the second string. Take your second finger and put it at the second fret on the third string. Just like that. Take your third finger and put it on the first string at the second fret. So these two fingers are at the second fret and this finger is at the first fret on the second string. And it should sound like this. OK, 
Okay, now, and this is why I said to play your C chord with your third finger. Because you, you could play it with your first finger, it would sound the same. Play it with your second finger, it still sounds the same. But the reason you do it with your third is it helps to set up for the change to your G7. So what you do now is you just hover your first finger over that second string there, and you hover your second finger over that third string, and then you slide your third finger down into the second fret, and you drop your other two fingers. Okay, now lift your first two fingers and slide your third finger back up to the C chord. Ready? One, two, three, four, slide. One, two, three, four. Get them ready, hover them over top. Okay, now let's slide your third finger down to the second fret and drop your other two fingers down. Just like that. Good. And again, this is where you want to be checking. Because if you're getting that kind of sound, <clears throat> chances are your fingers aren't standing up enough. Make sure they stand up. Because if they're laying down, you're getting that. Okay? Good. Okay, slide your third finger back up to C. Alright, let me show you your first song here. Here we go. Imagine you've got a string tied from your foot to your hand and you're counting with your foot thump thump like you know you're tapping your toes right that string is tied to your hand and as your foot goes down your hand goes down okay so here we go he's got the whole world in his hands now we're going to switch to the g7 he's got the whole wide world in his hands switch back to see he's got the whole world in his hands go back to g7 he's got the whole world in his see hands okay these songs aren't cool they're not meant to be cool they're meant to, to just show you how to play how to get your fingers set in the correct position gives you an opportunity to learn how to strum with your thumb okay <clears throat> so don't worry about the song just work on all of these extra little bits and pieces and once you put them all together you get a song soon we're going to learn a third chord and once you learn that third chord you're going to be able to play thousands of songs so for now just stick with these two chords, stick with this song until you get it down, okay? I'm gonna play it at a little bit faster pace now. Here we go. He's got the whole world, get ready to change it. In his hands and change, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands and change, he's got the whole world. In his hands, change. He's got the whole world. Quick change in his now hands. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, change. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got change. You and me, brother. In his hands, change. He's got the whole world in his change hands all right and there's your first song stop the video where you need to rewind it play it again make sure you're getting those nice clear sounds check for those little things like is your hand arched up um, are your fingernails cut um, are you pushing hard enough or not okay to get those clear sounds get your foot tapping and it's like a remote control for your strumming hand. Okay, and just practice with that and then come back again, we'll do another video. I'll teach you the third chord and then 
We're going to really open things up. And you'll be able to play all kinds of songs once we get those three chords going. Okay, practice it up. And until we get together for the next video, have fun.